Hey there, it's Jay once again with reviews of mobile games from Mom.org. Today we'll transport some prisoners, beat up some people, ascend to heaven, fight monsters, explore a mysterious island, and jump around with a certain blue hedgehog one more time. Let's go! Today we begin with a simulator called 3D Prison Transporter. Your task is to drive a happy little van that transports prisoners from one prison to another. By the way, there are a few of them you could choose from. Naturally, transportation is not everything that can happen in this game, because those bastards can try to escape if they have an opportunity, so that should be avoided. As I said, this is a simulator, and it reminds me of a uh, road trucker. You don't want to crash into anything or damage your load, and of course, you also need to drive. To be honest, the graphics suck, but if you like road trucker, then there's a slight chance that you'll like this one. The second game is called Fight Back, and it is a fighting game with the plot. The sister of a big tough guy was kidnapped, and now he's coming to her rescue by beating gauntlets of assorted enemies along the way. You know, you go through the location and a bunch of mobs jumps out at you. You beat them all up and proceed on your way. Locations eventually become more and more difficult. There's also an endless mode where you go through an endless corridor as far as you can and kill as many mobs as possible to get points and show off on the net. The game graphics are good, and there's a leveling system as well as an attractive 80s entourage, and it's quite dynamic, so go play it! And now it's time to get off the ground and bring a bit of violence to the air. Guardians of the Skies is yet another simulator, although this time it's not set during the Second World War, but modern times. Also, instead of only fighters, you can fly a military helicopter, and diversity is always good. In general, the game is still closer to a simulator than an arcade game. You need to take off, land, and maneuver properly. And in-game distance to the target is often equal to real-life distance. The game looks good and definitely will catch the eye of air combat fans. The next one is Almas Immortais, which is Portuguese for Immortal Souls, and this is an MMORPG. The game has a single-player campaign mode, so if you don't have an internet connection, you can still play it. Basically, the game is like any other fantasy MMO. There are character classes, battles with monsters, a great and probably ancient evil that threatens the world. Well, the common thing as usual, but the genre still works. Graphics, by the way, are impressive. It's bright and has great attention to detail. Visually, it's similar to World of Warcraft and that is good for the game. By the way, there's also a PvP arena where you can fight players from around the world. The game's enjoyable, it can lag on some devices, but the graphics justify it. The Island Castaway 2 is our next game. There's also a first game, but I missed that one. Here you have to live on an island, collect all sorts of things, and hunt. The island is quite large and colorful and has different things scattered at almost every step, so you'll definitely find something to do. There are also collectibles in the form of frogs and butterflies, so you'll need to keep an eye out for them. If you decide to play the game, you'll be presented with quests, puzzles, hunting, and herbalism lessons. And also, you need to run away from boars. What kind of a game would it be without that? In short, I advise you to download it. And the last game for today is Sonic Jump Fever, and it's about Sonic. Actually, not just about him, since you can play as a few characters from his world. Among them is a rabbit, who seems to be new. The main goal of the game is to jump around on clouds while dodging things that can kill you and collecting gold rings and other stuff. Each level has an end, so it's not an endless jumping runner, but something to complete in single-player or cooperative. The game is good, bright, and there is Sonic in it. Usually he's running, and now he's jumping too! Well, that's all for today! Don't forget to like stuff, comment, and subscribe to the channel! This was Jay, with reviews from Mob.org. See you!